hello people guess where I am there's a little lake here and the name of the lake may be revealing the name of the lake is Lake Bill and here around us you have a campus and this is actually Microsoft campus and I'm here between the buildings the original six buildings uh, built by Microsoft that were the first buildings of now a campus that is huge with thousands of people working here um, but here at this uh, place probably Bill Gates spent uh, a lot of time uh, working with people uh, or thinking about stuff as the lake is called to him um, uh, this chair I also found here um, so yeah I'm in Seattle visiting uh, Microsoft it's a Sunday nobody's here uh, but uh, I really did want to see the campus I'm, uh, I'm feeling a bit emotional um, I think that um, for me uh, it's uh, important uh, to see um, uh, Bill Gates I really admire him I'm a big fan of him he uh, what he accomplished I find um, absolutely amazing um, okay he wasn't born poor he was born rich already but um, he did succeed in uh, becoming the richest man in the world um, and um, well he was his father was a lawyer they have family money but it was not he did make his capital on his own of course you always have the support of your family and it certainly helps uh, when they have money but uh, uh, he did uh, his, his, his capital comes uh, for 99% from uh, what he built himself uh, with Microsoft and um, I think that's uh, uh, what he did um, with uh, Windows uh, is uh, he really uh, helped uh, the world forward uh, by offering an operating system that was the most user-friendly and um, succeeding in it getting it adopted the most widely so that uh, people could um, um, use uh, personal computers uh, and uh, that uh, really um, pushed on, on us into the modern times um, But it's strange how Bill Gates has a, a personal meaning for me that is much bigger than, for example, someone like Steve Jobs, who also accomplished a lot. But I don't feel a personal connection. I do feel one with Bill Gates. Uh, I, I discovered uh, uh, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs uh, when I was uh, in my 20s, when I was studying architecture. I really, I got, I was passionate for about a year, two years about that study, but then I lost my passion and uh, and I started to read books. Uh, um, one from Bill Gates. Um, I don't know the title anymore, but uh, it really inspired me a lot. Um, uh, that was in 2000. He was then the richest man in the world. Uh, and uh, Microsoft was then valued at thousand billion, which is still higher than what is Apple valued today. Apple is valued today, uh, 14 years later. Uh, the biggest company in the world is much smaller than uh, what Microsoft achieved in 2000. Um, since then, it's downhill for Microsoft, but. Um, Yeah. People like him really um, motivated to go my own way and to uh, do what the fuck I want to do. Uh, Bill Gates, he quit his studies 
also, as I did, uh, partly inspired by him um, to just pursue my dream. And um, yeah, for the rich kids, that's quite a problem. Uh, quitting your studies, mostly uh, your family and parents, they are lawyers or doctors and they really think that uh, that degrees are very important and um, and uh, even though they may be the richer people, uh, as submissiveness and authority is uh, valued highly um, and uh, so, so yeah. An example, Bill Gates, his example really gave me the courage to go my own way. Um, and now I'm 35, so I have certainly not accomplished what Bill Gates accomplished at 35. Um, certainly not financially, uh, but I've done well. Um, only the past year, two years, I've done well. It's been a long struggle for me, uh, but um, yeah, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin um, uh, made me successful, and. Um, but it's just a start, I'm pretty sure I invested a lot in NXT now and um, I think chances are high that I will also become very rich. And I like that, I really do, it's been a goal of mine for a, a long time and um, Yeah, I like that, uh, to have a lot of options. Uh, money, a lot of money gives a lot of options. Um, of course, I don't want to do this at the expense of my health, which I have done uh, in my 20s. So I am putting a lot more energy these days in my health and my relationships. My physical health and my mental health um, so basically I'm slowing down already but if you have the right foundations which means which is basically a lot of Bitcoin and a lot of NXT then likely you don't have to do that much anymore foundations are set very early on as with Microsoft their foundation was the Windows operating system um, uh, and um, their business model was very simple um, just offer it for free to uh, the, the different uh, personal computer manufacturers and um, or offer it very cheaply if they if they um, if they use only windows if they put only windows on their computers uh, then they get it very cheaply and so they basically can sell their computers uh, with an operating system for the best price uh, because they don't need to pay a lot for the operating system and um, uh, Bill Gates that's how he became rich uh, he, he, he was first and foremost the be a great businessman, not a great tech, uh, a, a, a programmer, but a great businessman. Um, he um, he really uh, well, his the, his his deal was uh, his first major deal was with IBM, uh, where he um, but that was afterwards. But where he made the deal that they would pay um, a very small fee for every. Um, every IBM computer sold they would uh, because at first what Bill Gates did was he would make deals with computer manufacturers personal computer manufacturers that they pay just one sum uh, and then they can distribute Windows but only Windows uh, uh, put it on their uh, PC computers 
but it was just one fixed sum and that was it and of course you can't get rich of that but what you do is um, is making sure that they only only have windows all these PCs will all have windows on their computer and so the, the, the end users are starting to use and learn windows and not some, something else that was his first great move and his second great move was to make a deal then after when when um, when he had this going and and so windows was already um, popular in the market he also made a deal with IBM I could be wrong in the details um, but he also made a deal with IBM where he did not ask for a lump sum but for a very small amount per IBM computer that was sold um, with, win with, with Windows up and they could only put Windows up and not something else and um, here you have of course the family connections coming in eh? where he was really uh, he, his family knew the IBM's person that was responsible for this deal so he was on good terms uh, and uh, and that's why he also partly got that deal probably but only partly of course because um, it was a very wise uh, wise move um, IBM totally underestimated and that's how you can make money it's always the same story because others underestimate eh? Uh, IBM underestimated totally the success of a personal computer because they were busy with intelligent business machines they thought the future was big computers one computer per company that was their vision and Bill Gates saw that no 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 the future is everybody has many computers um, and so uh, IBM after missing the start of the personal computer market also launched their own personal computer uh, but was lagging already uh, and then uh, they made this deal uh, with, uh, with Microsoft of course by that time Microsoft already succeeded in becoming a dominant player in the personal computer market when it comes to operating systems so IBM logically had to go for them because they want to sell their computers also and customers are, are already used to a Microsoft operating system so of course they, they do want to make a deal with Microsoft um, and well they don't have to pay a lump sum they just pay a very small amount per computer sold and um, and um, and so IBM went ahead with that thinking that personal computers were just a side business and would always remain a side business from the big business would never become big and so uh, once the deal was closed <laughs> the years after personal computers totally exploded IBM uh, sold so many personal computers uh, it was totally above expectations and needed to pay a very small amount per um, uh, computer sold to Windows uh, to Microsoft and that's how the billions started flowing into Microsoft and how he became a billionaire suddenly in only a few years time um, and that's the foundation of Microsoft which, was, which all happened at the start of the 80s at the end of the 70s in a period of five year time um, after that nothing basically changed uh, but the billions became hundreds of billions eh? not one millions became billions basically eh? but it was the same foundation the same business model um, which was transferred to all the other uh, personal computer companies that they would also have to pay a small amount for every computer sold with Windows up on and of course yeah because uh, so I think that was a genius the genius of Bill Gates was that he was so wise to give freebies uh, when it was most important um, or very cheaply giving away stuff so that people get hooked uh, and then um, charge the shit out of them basically eh? uh, if you want to buy a Windows operating system it costs a lot of money uh, these days but of course that's not how the computer world works you just buy the computer and you get the operating system as part of it um, but 
you had very strong network effects at the time because computers were not compatible with each other you could not exchange files between a Windows computer and an Apple computer and so and it worked very differently and um, and so yeah the more people that use Windows the more new people that want to use also Windows and so even though Apple had more users than Windows uh, at the start of the 80s uh, within 10 years time it totally inversed uh, because personal computers sold by IBM were a lot cheaper than Apple computers uh, could in, in essence do uh, um, I could do the most important functions also and um, and people uh, yeah price quality is very important the price quality was just better of, uh, of IBM computers and of Apple uh, sure Apple is better but it costs double or tri triple it's not double as triple or triple as good but it still costed that much so so it's only a small market and it loses market uh, uh, and, uh, and that's how um, by the end of the uh, 80s or is it end of the 90s almost all computers were uh, Windows and not almost nothing was Apple anymore so these strong network effects um, pushed out uh, all competitors um, Compatibility between operating systems actually by the start of the uh, or, or by, by the end of the 90s uh, actually increased a lot and uh, since then Apple did not lose any market share anymore uh, it went uh, back up I think so as you can see network effects uh, once they are gone um, um, uh, then um, the push I the the the, the uh, competitors have a much higher chance so the fundamentals of cryptocurrency today are also laid down already uh, Bitcoin is five years old uh, the name of the game is very simple buy Bitcoin and hold on to them uh, same was for Bill Gates have your Microsoft stock uh, and hold on to them uh, and what's the business model just sell copies of Windows what's the business model of Bitcoin um, just uh, gain new adopters uh, that also want to save Bitcoin and spend Bitcoin uh, instead of uh, the alternative which is fiat um, but I do think the network effects are not as strong in cryptocurrency as they were in operating systems at the time. Um, you can, you could not exchange a Windows file uh, uh, to an Apple file. It was just not possible. Um, but today it is uh, possible to exchange a Bitcoin for an NXT. I uh, just uh, one click of a button. Just like today, it's possible to convert a Windows file into an Apple file. And so, yeah, you're not forced to use either, you know, so you can, uh, due to network effects, you can choose what you want and then you can just exchange your stuff if, uh, if you need to, if you need to. And so, um, in that situation, if something is clearly a lot better than something else, it will very likely gain uh, market share uh, if Apple uh, would be a lot better and um, and uh, even cheaper um, uh, then uh, it would gain uh, again uh, market share over um, over Windows especially when it is compatible between each other um, this is not the case today but it is the case when you compare NXT with um, Bitcoin and it's clearly a lot better. It's a much more, much more secure um, NXT, much less vulnerable against the 51% attack, much faster transactions, Allez. validated transactions, um, and you can do a lot more with it than with Bitcoin. Uh, it's not just currency. You can send messages. You can uh, uh, launch IPOs. You can buy stocks, bonds. Um, you can even uh, um, start a shop, uh, sell goods, uh, services in full privacy, 
um, buy them in full privacy this is all uh, so this is clearly a lot um, and it looks much nicer also the the client so 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 this is clearly better and it's a lot cheaper Bitcoin costs you is seven billion uh, the value of Bitcoin so let's say you want to buy one percent of the currency supply oh by the way there's no inflation in NXT very important eh? uh, this is a uh, very important in Bitcoin you do have inflation um, so it's clearly a lot better uh, but it's also a lot cheaper uh, if you want to pay buy let's say 1% of the coins uh, it will cost you currently NXT is valued at 40 million it's ridiculous the valuation very very low so 4 million is 10% 400,000 uh, dollars will buy you 1% of the coin supply and that's 10 million coins NXT you can buy for four hundred thousand dollars, four hundred k. Okay, you may uh, have to push up the price a bit. Maybe it will cost you some more uh, to have one percent. But that's about a rough estimate. If you want about one percent of a bitcoin, seven billion divided by ten is seven hundred million divided by ten is seventy million. So seventy million it will cost you for bitcoin. Four hundred k it will cost you for. Um, for NXT so that's about 150 times less uh, cheaper NXT is 150 times cheaper than Bitcoin but it is at least 10 times better maybe even 100 times better than Bitcoin it is 100 times better when it comes to 51% uh, attack vulnerability and when it comes to uh, features uh, you can also uh, make a case that it's at least 10 times better so and it is compatible the only thing that worries me is when I promote uh, cryptocurrency I tend to promote Bitcoin and not NXT because it's so easy you have a higher much higher chance that people have heard about it that they say oh I heard about it and so it's so it's much easier sell if they have heard about it before also the apps on the phone are easy like I just can send Bitcoin immediately I can't do that yet with NXT and that's also important um, and yeah so that's what, what the only thing that concerns me when it comes to NXT the day I will start to promote NXT instead of Bitcoin I think all is well but I'm not there yet so let's see yeah? um, so yeah a great spot is this talk about these things because it all comes down to vision uh, uh, business uh, acumen uh, if you want to become rich um, and the vision uh, both Steve Jobs and Bill Gates had the vision since they were 20 um, uh, the passion for computers the vision that it would change the world and that it would become very big a vision that almost nobody else had um, and a business acumen that came with it um, that was end of the 70s when I was born today we're 2014 we're 30 years later 35 years later and um, it's uh, it's a new world uh, the computers have taken over um, the world um, now everybody has them in their pockets and um, but uh, the computer revolution is not done um, uh, money uh, is now the big thing um, cryptocurrency is definitely the biggest thing um, today uh, that will change the world the most uh, the next uh, five to ten years um, <laughs> today uh, it is uh, at the stage where um, the first articles appeared in the media just like with the PCs at the start of the 80s the first articles appeared in the media you had the first successful computers personal computers they were still very very expensive today Bitcoin and NXT is very cheap but it is very complex that's the big analyst just like personal computers were very expensive and very complex 
today Bitcoin NXT is very cheap but it's very complex which makes it a, very, a big hurdle to take uh, which is the biggest reason why most people just don't do it yet it sounds and is complex still um, but yeah um, if you see the vision then you're motivated to take that hurdle and the vision is of course that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will take over the world um, US dollars uh, that paper money and these bank accounts will be uh, oh, will be a thing of the past uh, very quickly uh, very likely already in 10 years time uh, this will become a uh, a thing that's used much less than Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are used by people because these things can go quick uh, humankind evolves quicker and quicker over time uh, whereas the TV took say 30 years to basically enter every home the computer only took 10 years or actually internet the latest development only took 10 years to enter every house well it depends when you start counting always but um, basically um, uh, the commercial adoption of internet only started at the 90s and we're now 15 years later but it was already 10 years later that it was in almost every home in the West uh, present Allez. that more than half of the people had adopted it more than half of the people adopting TV took three times more um, so I think the same is applicable to cryptocurrency this will also go very quick much quicker than we all expect because it is a exponential um, adoption um, each each year you have 10 times more users and at the start what's the difference between 100 users and 1000 users nothing 1000 10,000 nothing 10,000 100,000 nothing 100,000 a million no that starts well that's where we are now with Bitcoin but in one year time it's a million 10 million Mm, that's uh, and then it's 10 million 100 million it's certainly suddenly it really starts to become much more visible uh, how many people adopt it uh, even though the growth is rate is the same it suddenly it's like whoa uh, and of course uh, the amount of capital gains eh, if you now uh, let's say you have now thousand dollars in Bitcoin and you make ten thousand next year it's worth ten thousand it's nice but it's not as nice as going from 10,000 to 100,000. It's also only 10 folding, but suddenly it fucking counts. Eh? Or from 100 to a million, that counts a lot more eh? than from 1,000 to 10,000. So that's also what's going to happen with those people that are smart to invest today as much as they can in Bitcoin and NXT. Uh, they will, uh, uh, the gains that they've seen in the past will be nothing compared to the gains that they will see in the future. Not percentage wise, but capital wise. That's why it's very important to not invest just pennies, but invest a considerable amount of your portfolio into it. Otherwise, it won't count. You will miss basically a year, two years, because first it needs to become a considerable amount, and only then you'll make real money. Um, and it's not time to divest just yet. Um, unless uh, it all depends how long you've been in uh, but um, uh, I mean if you uh, uh, invested uh, 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 a lot in uh, 2010 in Bitcoin of course you're uh, divesting already uh, but um, but where we are today is where for example um, uh, Microsoft was uh, after five years uh, start of the 80s or not five three years Clearly it was successful, clearly Bitcoin is successful today. Some have become millionaires, there have been people become millionaires, nobody became a billionaire, but there have become people millionaires. For example, people like early Bitcoin adopters, you know the names, famous people, uh, having a hundred thousand, uh, a few people succeed in, 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 in purchasing hundred thousand Bitcoins. Uh, well, that's worth today. Um, wait, a thousand is worth uh, 500k. 
10,000 is worth 5 million. So 100,000 bitcoins is worth 50 million. So they became millionaires. Uh, but um, uh, and so was the case with uh, Microsoft uh, after the first few years that we, they become millionaires. But um, at that time, smart people like, for example, Steve Ballmer, uh, who had waited before it was showing signs of success, and only then jumped ship. Uh, Steve Ballmer jumped ship. He bought himself in uh, in Microsoft, buying around. 9% uh, of the total uh, stock supply uh, Bill Gates had about started with 65 uh, his friend Paul Allen started with 35 and then Bill Gates sold about 9 or 10% to Steve Ballmer uh, sold not give away sold 10% uh, to Steve Ballmer Steve Ballmer bought it by borrowing money from the bank of course uh, so Ale, of course I mean you have to dare uh, that's like people that today borrow money to buy Bitcoin. You have to dare, but that's the right, right move. If you have to, if you don't have to, you don't have to. I don't have to borrow, but I have money. If you don't have money, I think that's a really wise move. Risky, very risky, but wise nonetheless. I mean, people that borrow your money, that's their decision, you know. And they always take the risk that you lose it. They choose to blend it to you for a certain interest rate. That's their problem, not yours. You know? Sure, you want to pay it back. Yeah, okay. But the way the world works is you can set up corporations. If they go broke, they go broke. You don't need to pay anything back. That's how it works. If you find a banker that's willing to lend to your corporation, good for you. Huh? And in the US, even persons as a person you can go broke so if you succeed in getting loans um, even expensive loans like um, or cheap loans especially student loans but even expensive loans that ask an interest of 20% per year may absolutely be worthwhile because the returns on Bitcoin are much higher than 20% per year eh? we're talking 500 percent per year so even that can be extremely profitable. Um, so Steve Ballmer bought himself into Microsoft um, buying 10% and uh, thanks to that move he became a billionaire as well. Um, so and that's where we are today. Uh, the first millionaire, millionaires have, are born but nobody became a billionaire. If, you're, if you still take the plunge today you can still become a billionaire but you will have to buy a lot you'll have to buy uh, for half a million a million US dollars uh, and then you can become a billionaire uh, with cryptocurrency uh, but you know if you don't want to do that if you don't have that you don't want to take that risk okay uh, you can still become a millionaire also uh, by just investing basically pennies a few K a 10k and you can also become a millionaire still the next few years and it's gonna go quick eh? So it is time is super important here. Uh, you don't have time to wait and see. Uh, there is no time for that. You need to jump in. Of course, don't invest if you don't trust. You gain trust by studying. So you jump in and 24/7 you study cryptocurrency, and then you get your trust, and then you plow down the money, and um, and basically it's continue. It's a continuous process. You can just not. I wish it would be just like plowing down and then just go lay in the sun, but that's not true. You're, you're continuously investing, even if you're not buying, selling, you still follow up the market. I put a lot of time just reading up on the forums on NXT and the news, because, yeah, but Bitcoin much less. I'm, uh, uh, what we have here are beautiful fish in Lake Bill and they are very curious the fish very curious I don't know anything about fish but from what I hear I think these are expensive fish and um, oh look look and they seem to be smart and curious And quite beautiful too. Huh? 
so uh, the video dropped so I'm gonna continue where I left um, Wow, there are a lot of fish here so Yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Bitcoin NXT. Look, they are all coming here now. Because I sit here, they come here too. This big, big, big boy is a smarty. Hey. Oops. Um, because in the end, we all wanna make money. And um, you have to keep your nose on uh, the winners uh, it's not gonna be easy and uh, it wasn't easy for Bill Gates and Steve Jobs at the time he, Steve Jobs with all his intelligence actually lost out to Bill Gates um, seeing the value of his company Apple go down dramatically uh, after its initial rise so um, oh, look here here this big one he just comes out of the water He's a smart ass. Hey bro, how are you? Yeah, yeah. So, so, how do you know which one will win? You have now 200 cryptocurrencies. Um, you you don't know, but you can estimate your chances. You can calculate um, how probable, and it's always an estimation, but still, you want to calculate what's the probability that one will win out over the other. Um, what I've learned from um, from studying uh, just business in general. Uh, that um, a competing product will have to be considerably better in order to win. Uh, you can't just have one better feature. Um, uh, not in a world where network effects apply. And of course the network effects of cryptocurrency are not as strong as the network effects were for example for uh, operating systems in the 80s or for today social networks uh, such as Facebook today uh, these are also incompatible social networks with each other so you have a very strong network effects the more people that are on Facebook the more valuable it becomes and the more people will, that will join and uh, a competing uh, a competing social network even when it grows if it does not grow enough it will actually start dying sooner or later uh, uh, the, the amount of users will actually stagnate and go down uh, simply because it wasn't growing as quickly as the other one uh, which happened to MySpace um, the same is is the same true for cryptocurrency to a smaller extent yes um, but not not on the same level um, look oh my god I see insects I could kill them and give them to the fish they would love that but um, will I be quick enough anyway um, these insects are very strange have a look what the fuck is this in the, in the US I see all kind of things look these are some kind of bees I never saw such bees. <sighs> so, um, and they're digging in the earth, and they really don't bother me, and they are not afraid of me. It's just digging in the earth. Just digging. So, uh, um, and they are now there are three. So, 
Um, Sony, I, I, I once uh, read a book about Sony and there the, 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 the mantra was even uh, new technology does not have seven innovations over the current dominant technology it will not make it so it should have at least seven uh, better uh, features uh, innovations in great improvements over the competitor and otherwise it's not worth bothering uh, due to the network effects eh? uh, something that is not as good but when network effects are involved will actually be unbeatable uh, even by a better product or service simply because even though it may not be as good as the competitor uh, due to so many users using it it's actually a lot better than even a competitor that is techno technically better so um, I think the same uh, applies to cryptocurrencies though to a lesser extent meaning you should have at least three four great 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 improvements great innovations uh, over the dominant uh, competitor uh, in order to be able to make it so Bitcoin is obviously the dominant competitor um, does NXT or any other currency that you uh, think of investing in does any cryptocurrency has three four clearly great innovations over Bitcoin well um, the first one is um, big innovation is um, decentralized everything uh, so not only offer a currency but also offer all kind of other applications that benefit from being decentralized which is mostly of course services that or that are currently impossible due to the government using violence against them um, eh, currency is the first big uh, thing here you will it was not possible to launch your own currency with a company because the government would just uh, uh, take you down um, violate you because they don't don't like competition for their fiat but thanks to the decentralized cryptocurrency now Bitcoin eh, succeeded in solving that problem um, but what else uh, can be uh, greatly improved uh, that is currently impossible of course stock markets eh, so so why is it so expensive to go to launch your IPO uh, because of regulation, government regulations uh, uh, make it so that um, you can't s launch your asset, you can't sell your asset, you can't promote your asset unless you pay the bastards off eh? and uh, for that you need a lot of money. Uh, so, um, and then of course, uh, uh, yeah, once you're, yeah, it's basically a sellout, the stock market, it's not an investment uh, platform. It's just uh, entrepreneurs that became rich already with their company selling out their stock to uh, a bunch of people. Uh, that's that's what it is. Um, the only investment opportunities are in um, when it comes to stocks in um, are in uh, early investment rounds that are only you can only do that uh, sell that to millionaires um, and 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 still you're very restricted. Um, uh, so. Uh, but for uh, and of course if you don't have money or a lot of money it's not you can't start studying all that and even you're not even allowed to invest in it so so that's the problem so a decentralized stock markets is of course a great innovation because now everybody can launch uh, an asset um, basically free and uh, everybody can buy them basically um, and uh, and so uh, NXT has uh, uh, offers that so not only currency also uh, uh, an exchange and um, uh, that's I think uh, one big innovation and uh, you can also uh, uh, add the other decentralized everything innovations to that uh, you have a marketplace now uh, of course you can't buy and sell a certain goods uh, due to the government using violence against you if you would buy sell wheat or guns uh, they will uh, uh, violate you um, so if you want to do that uh, in privacy you need a decentralized uh, marketplace uh, NXT offers that now 
and so that's also I think uh, um, a killer app uh, it's really needed uh, Silk Road was taken down um, and many others so uh, that's very important to have not even if you want to buy and sell illegal goods it's just that privacy if you want to buy and sell in privacy you need this because it's all encrypted you can't uh, do that on any server uh, based uh, platform uh, because they can always uh, uh, spy on you um, whereas when it's decentralized well, they can't unless they break encryption or invade your home and uh, get your password um, so That, that fish. That's the big guy. He's he's look. He's just he's swimming like a shark. Um. So. And uh, these are two innovations. I think, of course. NXT is not the only one, there are others too, but it needs to be really decentralized. Uh, BitShares does not often offer decentralized exchange. It uses server systems. So it's not uh, it's not a proper solution. Um, and um, uh, a marketplace, NXT is the only one today uh, offering a decentralized marketplace. So those are uh, clearly uh, big innovations over Bitcoin. Um, and other big innovations are the 51% vulnerability. NXT becomes more difficult to uh, to take over uh, the larger it becomes, uh, because uh, and with Bitcoin is the inverse. Bitcoin really has a, made a design mistake in using the proof of work algorithm to validate transactions, uh, which leads to centralization of uh, of uh, validating uh, of people that validate transactions, and so. Uh, the more centralized they are, the, the more easy they are to be taken down uh, by a single entity. Um, and so Bitcoin uh, really failed there and, uh, and NXT has solved that problem with the proof of uh, stake uh, algorithm, uh, which leads to, over time, more and more people uh, owning stake and more and more people needed to uh, validate transactions. Um, and so it will become more and more difficult over time for the government or any other entity to uh, take over uh, NXT with a successful 51% attack. That's a great innovation, I think, because, of course, at the heart of decentralized uh, systems is uh, how, how strong it is against, of course, the government uh, for it to be taken down. That's number one, uh, uh, the number one question. And, uh, and yeah, NXT greatly innovates on that and so do, do these days many other proof-of-stake coins uh, so they are NXT is not the only one but it was the first one uh, to do it properly a peer coin used proof-of-stake but it was mixed with proof-of-work uh, and also the proof-of-stake uh, algorithm was not um, I don't understand the details but it seemed that it was using a trick in order to uh, Basically, I was using a solution that was centralized, uh, some kind of, um, um, I forgot the name, but basically the developer had a lot of power, uh, So uh, and so if you could take over the developer, you could fuck up the system. So NXT is a first to be 100% proof of stake and also um, not use um, uh, decentralized solutions uh, to keep the system going. So. And of course, these days you have more. So, but it is still a great, great innovation over Bitcoin, uh, still applicable. And then, of course, no inflation. Um, uh, so we have already three big innovations. No inflation is the fourth one. Um, of course, a cryptocurrency that has zero inflation is better, much better than a cryptocurrency that has, say, six percent inflation, like Bitcoin does this year, and next year five percent, year after four percent. Okay, it's, the inflation goes down for Bitcoin, but it's still there. Uh, all else being equal, it's much better to hold a currency that has no inflation than to hold a currency that has inflation. Um, your money will uh, preserve its value better, uh, all else being equal. 
basically Bitcoin goes down this year with 6% in value due to inflation and next year it goes down with 5% in value due to inflation you don't have that with NXT so um, that's four big innovations um, and actually it's not just more um, a fifth innovation is a cheaper it's much cheaper transactions in NXT um, because um, well you know in order to uh, uh, it's not only more secure uh, much more secure against the 51 percent attack uh, the proof of stake system the proof of stake system also makes transactions a lot cheaper because in order to validate the transaction you don't need to do a lot of proof of work you not don't need to uh, run a bunch of computers uh, and do useless calculations in order to validate the transaction using a lot of energy no you just need to prove that you have a stake and then you can validate transactions so that does not cost any energy or barely any and so it's much cheaper to validate transaction in NXT and so transactions are a lot cheaper that's the fifth great innovation um, of course other proof of stake coins that copy NXT have that also but whenever you talk about copies of NXT of the proof of stake system uh, a copy the same applies there a copy needs to be uh, five times better uh, than the original in order to uh, make it uh, and so and because you do have a, a network effect going on uh, so Litecoin was a copy of Bitcoin with some minor changes but certainly not five big innovations uh, so maybe minor uh, improvements and well you know it's failing uh, because because it's not enough to get that network effect broken from, from Bitcoin the, the, the reasons why people use Litecoin are not strong enough so people start with it as a novelty but they 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 they, they, they don't uh, continue to see the benefit and just go back to Bitcoin um, because basically it's the same anyway and Bitcoin is much popular more popular much more easy to pay people uh, to get paid eh? you don't need to like have this useless conversation why well, start using Litecoin and when people ask but why I say yeah well, well I don't know it's it's fun no it's not good enough uh, we are economical human beings um, and we like ease, ease, uh, easy stuff and simplicity so but with NXT you know you can't say no why why use NXT uh, let's just go back to Bitcoin no because Bitcoin is risky uh, it can be taken down tomorrow uh, with a 51% attack uh, what then then you lose all your cryptocurrency value that's not an option um, but also you can't uh, launch an IPO there or you can't send messages there or you can't uh, sell or buy goods in anony an an anonymity there yeah you can over time like you, you will be able to with all different services but not in the same client so and what else well transactions currently are cheap in Bitcoin but they will become more and more expensive over time so so what you will see is well actually no this is future the speculation let's let's keep that out but yeah it's not an option to go back to Bitcoin when you have NXT it's wise to have some Bitcoin you never know what's gonna go wrong with NXT so I still have a little amount of Bitcoin uh, NXT has its own different risks than Bitcoin so makes sense to have that also but it does not make sense to sell your NXT for Bitcoin are there any other cryptocurrencies that are uh, better than NXT that might win over NXT I don't see it the decentralized everything is not what the competitors uh, offer uh, you have competitors like counterparty mastercoin these are built on Bitcoin but the only purpose to build a decentralized exchange these exchanges are already less popular than um, they are slower and they are no less popular than the one of NXT so they lost that race already and they don't have anything else to offer it's not that they offer a, 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 a cryptocurrency that is uh, stronger than Bitcoin less vulnerable to a 51% attack no not at all um, so so they are not better um, BitShares is the only one that tries to be better uh, but uh, they fail to do so 
because they are uh, more centralized. They are using a proof of stake system, that's good, but they are much more centralized than NXT using server solutions. Um, they also have the wrong vision. Uh, they want to. Um, they are also not uh, focused on decentralized everything. Uh, they are uh, focused on bit shares. Uh, it's uh, 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 shares. Uh, they are focused on having a decentralized exchange, um, and um, that's just one application. Um, um, and now they are here. They are also going to focus on having actually legal companies that uh, join their stock market instead of just allowing anyone to launch an asset no now now they're gonna themselves uh, they are going to um, put in a re basically a regulation system oh, it's just so such bad thinking I uh, really um, I, I see where they're coming from and what they think is okay look now we have decentralized stock exchanges we clearly have a better technology we have a much more decentralized stock exchange which is true for bit shares it is much more decentralized uh, but um, and, and, and let's let's but of course we have all these regulations in the world that we cannot uh, um, we have to go uh, work with so let's work with that so that legal companies uh, can um, legally uh, launch their assets on our exchange and so let's incorporate and they incorporated in Switzerland so they basically are gonna launch some kind of stock exchange incorporated in Switzerland following all, all kind of national regulations and then allowing legal companies like maybe Overstock uh, to launch on their uh, exchange but you know uh, it's not gonna uh, happen uh, because the whole point of a decentralized uh, exchange is that it is not vulnerable to a government attack and if you're gonna start incorporating in Switzerland and following all kind of legal regulations then they can just with uh, one signature uh, uh, shut you down uh, so um, the way to do this is exactly the way that Bitcoin did it for money you don't give a fuck about the regulations you just launch your software uh, and uh, you, you, you make it so good that people just want to use it and that's what NXT does also when it comes to the stock market they build the software it's so good, it's so cheap to launch an IPO, everybody can do it and it's their, the people, their own responsibility to follow their local regulations, their local laws. It's not the problem of the software. And so NXT does that very well and uh, as, a, as a consequence every day assets are launched for dirt cheap and, uh, and uh, it has the largest trading volume uh, in, uh, in assets. So for me when you and if I miss something please 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 let me know eh, because um, I'm repeating myself a lot and uh, probably I'm wrong also so but the way I, I look at it this is uh, uh, easy peasy uh, it is very clear that NXT is much better than Bitcoin in many ways and also that there is not a single competitor not even coming close I'm not talking about the smallest cryptos, there may be some that exist, but if they do not have a market cap higher than 1 million, never went higher than 10 million, I have not looked at them, uh, there, there is Quora, there is all kind of coins that I hear talk about, and maybe one of them is better, but uh, still, uh, I haven't heard, I, uh, every time I start studying them, I, 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 I lose interest, so I haven't encountered it, but you know, if you have one that has four or five times the things that are better than NXT, please let me know. And if it's true, I'm going to reward you seriously. I, I reward everybody that helps me out. Uh, and I do that very, 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 very um, generously. Um, so... I hope this helped you in, uh, in uh, investing your money. Um, so I invested 30% um, in Bitcoin, now 40% in NXT, uh, that's 70, and another 20% in gold and gold mining stocks, uh, uh, following Roland Van Damme, his portfolio, and then some cash. And that's basically it. And um, um, so yeah, um, I wish you good luck and uh, a last few 
of uh, Lake Bill here. Uh, uh, it's all surrounded with the six original buildings of Microsoft uh, built in Redmond. I'm in Redmond, Seattle. And uh, this is the place where likely Bill Gates, at starting of the 80s, um, has spent um, time thinking and talking and uh, built a great empire. And I do hope that we all together succeed in um, making from NXT a current million, uh, a, a million, um, a basically a, a, a currency valued in the millions. I really do hope that we succeed in uh, building it into a value, uh, uh, a currency valued in the billions um, and um, maybe uh, trillions. Uh, but billions, that's really what we need to do. And that's something that we can achieve within a few years time, I think. Because the foundations are there. The foundations are already all visible. They are super strong. Just like with Microsoft, uh, his business model was at the start of the 80s. A super strong business model that would lead to total domination. Uh, and the same is likely true for NXT. Uh, the fundamentals are so strong that time will only make it uh, better. Um, uh, the decentralized everything, more and more applications are being developed uh, in NXT, so you can do more and more and more. Uh, so it, oh, it becomes better and better and better versus Bitcoin. It, uh, only a few weeks ago, uh, the marketplace was launched. I mean, what's it gonna be next month? I don't know, but it just becomes richer and richer. So time is on your side. The, 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 the centralization problem of Bitcoin becomes bigger and bigger. Uh, it becomes more and more centralized. And uh, NXT, to the contrary, becomes more and more decentralized. So time is on your side there too. Um, um, so yeah, uh, I hope it makes sense to you too. Uh, and I hope you uh, invest a lot of your, not only time, not only energy, but also your savings into it. Because only then you will profit fully. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you so much for watching. And please let me know what you think. Bye.